Friends One Alley. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, politically, I am part of a subculture called AXA. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but uh, recently I was in the hospital, actually, last week. Um, uh, I had a panic attack. I, I was dating this girl named Maggie Lee, who was, like has a piece in the Whitney. And, uh, just met her in a bar and I fingered her and whatnot. And um, no, I had this panic attack. I thought I was gonna die, but I'm survived and here I am. And uh, I just, uh, it, it was uh, it was really shitty last week. She's, she's probably it's just like a shitty type of person, type of mentality. But um, I, I've tried to go on Tinder and date other girls uh, this week, and um, you know, part of what I do in this subculture is um, I listen to really weird music like Atari Teenage Riot and things like that and I go really nuts and I go really crazy. Uh, well, first I was dating, well, there was this girl named Ayume. Uh, she's like Italian and like Japanese and she has like the typical like Thrasher t-shirt. Uh, I saw Mirzbo with her. I don't know if you guys know Mirzbo. Mirzbo is like a noise musician and whatnot. And, you know, I was kind of really cool and hyped. Yeah, she's from Colombia, whatnot. Yeah, that's cool. She can suck my dick. But at the same time, however, it's like there was this event I had, like, last week. There was this, like, um, basically... Okay, so I was with another girl named Ling, and she's, like, Asian baby girl. She's, like, fat, pinye, into Eminem and whatnot. And there's, like, another couple over there that uh, this, 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 this kind of subpar white guy dating an Asian woman because um, that's, he's Quinn's lady dating with her and she has like the nose ring, you know, that all girls have, you know, because they're not like the other girls. And it just made me think to myself, they're in a motherfucking shoegaze band, aren't they? They probably are into like nothing in world, okay? What, I mean, whatever happened to the good old days of Starfire 59, you know, into that and it's just like, Whatever. And, and I just feel like, okay, here, here's what I, I mean, I'm fine with the whole, like, hood shit and, you know, whatever. I mean, I guess my girl's, like, sang a song, uh, I know, like that, you know, whatnot. I don't have a Harriet Sugar Cookie, but I do have a sang a song. Um, but I was just, like, felt like just going up to this kid, knowing that he's on his turf, and doing that Wamafel shit saying, and, you know, having these thoughts in my head and just going up to him and being like, um... Hey, do you know who I am? I'm like, no, I'm Pill Eater. This is AXA territory. I'm like, what's that? Well, I don't know if you know, but I am an F-A-S-C-I-S-T. I was like, no, what's that? I was like, well, I got another joke for you. I'll pull up my video and go, you know, fucking shoot him out there. It's not that he's in here or something like that. Um, but no, seriously, it's just like that shit kind of like, pisses me off because I'm, I'm really friends with Jamie Stewart. He's in this band called Juju and we go on like Google Hangouts and we like talk about like child porn avant-garde fiction and like weird, like there's this author named New Juju about him going in like the Philippines and like jerking off to like these weird women. And we just have like talks about this. And he told me like not to focus on that like stupid cuckolded soy boy bullshit that you're just trying to like you know, shoot a fucking Luger out and go Joker on him, right? You should focus on, like, the avatar of Japanese breakfast. You should focus on the Michelle Zahner of the future. And, you know, or, or a fucking Harry Sugar Cookie or something like that. And I was like, yeah, that, that, sounds, that sounds fucking dope. I mean, I mean, there was that, I mean, I mean, stuff like that already does happen. It just reminds me back to Maggie, how much of a fucking bitch she is. And it just makes me, like, so, like, fucking angry. And so I guess I'm a kind of angry dude, right? I mean, I mean, it's just like whatever, man. It's just like the it's kind of like weird because it's like previously before then it's like there's like a part of like us going around at like Nitzareb at Warsaw, and right. I remember there was this like woman approaching me, and I had this KMFDM T-shirt on, and she's like, "How old are you?" I'm like, I'm 20, I'm 28, and she's like, let me buy you a beer, and then later I'm just like fucking fingering her down in that suit, walking her back to her place. But no, that's basically chaos magic. That's exactly what Jamie is telling me. You know, eventually, you know, all this is gonna boil down and we're gonna see like the fucking boogaloo happen. And like this boogaloo, it's like Maggie's gonna get it 
and, and it's just going to be like Akira, and we're all going to be like in cyberpunk bikes and shit like that. Because that's what AXA is all about. AXA is like white boys with, who just have Asian girlfriends and were just partially alt-right. You, you know, you ever hear the news that gay white nationalist that, that got arrested in Norway? There was a gay white nationalist named Gabe Johnson, and he got arrested in uh, Norway. Well, now, it's that, that's kind of weird that things like that happen, like gay white nationalism, like homo nationalism. There is literally like a deep state of like gay homo nationalism shit. And he once told me, dude, your girlfriend's Asian, you can't be a homo nationalist. And I said, oh, whatever, now you're arrested, who the fuck cares? You know, I'm like yelling down at him like Richard Spencer. I'm being like, I am a god. I am a god. I'm AXA. You know, and shit like that. I might as well take out the Luger and get to Greg Johnson. Go, like, hey, you want to hear another joke? Pop! You know, like that. Pop! Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>